Kylander Warrior right now is one of the best decks against Aggro Demon Hunter, so it's definitely a great way for you to be punishing all of those greedy Aggro Demon Hunters. In this video I'll give you a quick guide about the deck, show its mulligans, win rates, as well as some general tips so you have a better idea how to play with and against this deck. So if you're serious about Hearthstone, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to get hands for some Hearthstone coaching. Now let's check out the deck. You are not prepared! Here's the variant I used, and it's pretty close to the one I showed you in the last top 5. Uh, I think the only difference is here we have a second Dirty Rat, Armor Vendor and Gaslight Gatekeeper. The other one had the Astral Copy Guy, with which you could have done some sick stuff like uh, extra Boom Boss, like extra Inventor Boom. Heck, even extra Armor Vendor, like uh, if you've played your brand, and after that you play ETC, you get to discover two of these idiots, and you could actually uh, get Armor Vendor twice. Play the Astral, which we don't have in this one, so you can get another armor vendor, and that's like uh, 16 armor out of nowhere, and something like that against the Sith Mage can be very, very good, but here we have an extra Dirty Rat instead, so you can try to snipe off important minions, and that works like a charm as well. Anyway, we have Gara's Gift, pretty flexible card, you usually use it for the Brawl or for the Shield Block, but the Execute could come in handy to destroy the enemy minions, you can't use this on your own crap if you really need it to. So uh, keep that in mind. Shield Slap is in here, so you can uh, slam some tall targets with all the armor gain we have. Just the regular slam is also in here, so you can card draw or just uh, snipe off some small stuff in the early turns. Town Crier is in here, so you can draw your Zilly or your uh, Excavate Burrow Buster. Nothing else in the deck. Uh, keep in mind, if you have Bran active, uh, this thing is going to be drawing you two cards, so make sure to make enough room for it. But also keep in mind, you only have two Rush Idiots in the deck, so if you already drew those, it's going to do absolutely nothing. Bash is a decent way to gain a little bit of armor while dealing with some of the board. You could also use it to snipe off the enemy's face if that's something you're into. But usually you just uh, get rid of something in the early turns with it. Blade Storm, pretty good stuff, especially if the opponent's not careful. You could do some crazy good uh, removals like that. And uh, sometimes you might want to be holding on to things like Bash or Slam, so you can actually uh, level the health for the opponent, so then you can actually pull off a good Blade Storm, or you can just use it to kill off a Reborn after the Blade Storm is done and stuff like that. Blast Charge, basically Execute with... Uh, the added benefit of having uh, Excavate, but it's costing you one extra nowadays. Well, technically our Execute is also costing two mana, so there's that too. But uh, yeah, extra Excavate never hurt nobody. We have a Dirty Rat in here as well, so you can snipe off some of them core minions. Cobalt Miner for extra Excavation, you could save it for after Brass, so you can double up the Excavate, but usually it's no ba not bad on Curve. Needle Rock Totem is great for you to draw you some cards while giving you some armor, and it also forces the opponent into dealing with it, so that helps. Safety Goggles can be an absolute uh, crazy card for you in order for you to actually draw two cards, even on turn two with Stone Skin Armor, but you can also hold on to it for a big Sanitize like that, because uh, zero mana gain six into even unforced Sanitize can be hella good, especially against uh, Aggro Demon Hunters with all of their big five health minions. Shield Block for extra armor gain, extra card drop, usually you use it on curve so you can cycle through your deck faster, find your brand and other core pieces like that. Stone Skin Armor, extra cycle like that again. Bellowing Flame with the Forge, pretty nice stuff. It's one of your two Forge cards, Sanitize being the second, so you can get some Ignis action going. Reinforced Plating, again, Excavate plus Armor again, pretty good stuff. The Viper, a little bit questionable. It's not here for the Aggro Demon Hunters. You're already dealing with Aggro Demon Hunters very well, but it is gonna help you against shit like Rainbow DK with all their uh, Quartz Crushers or their uh, Plague Weapons. Uh, it can help you against things like Highlander Hunter, uh, Highlander Shaman if you manage to find one. You could destroy a Hunter's Weapon with Agrimar and whatnot. All around, there's still stuff to destroy. And it's also a tradable card, so after you play your Boom Boss, uh, you can straight up one mana tradable the Viper back into the deck, so you can actually find those bombs nice and quick, and that can help big time. Steam Guardian in here, so you can uh, fin out the deck with a spell. Don't forget, Plagues are also considered a spell, so you could be fishing out a Plague like that. But you can also get lucky and discount something like Trial by Fire. Or your other fire spell, which is uh, the three mana bellowing flames. Nothing else is fire spell, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, get Craftsman Hammer, pretty good stuff. Gives you nine armor in the process of dealing nine damage. And you usually want to be removing crap with this weapon, so use it as a control tool in most cases. You already saw what's in the ETC. Armor Vendor, Dirty Rat, Gaslight... Uh, 
Gatekeeper, and the Gatekeeper is amazing after you've played your uh, Bran into Boom Boss, and after that you're actually gonna draw twice with the Gaslight Gatekeeper, and that can be brutally good for you to actually find a lot of those bombs. Uh, we also have Ignis in here. After you've played Bran, you could be doing some cheesy stuff like discovering double one mana weapons against a full board. You could be discovering the one mana death rattle, deal damage plus poisonous, and just re-equip another one mana weapon over it so you can actually uh, delete the first one. Uh, you obviously are gonna be uh, happy to get the 10 mana wind fury, gain armor, or uh, Summon 8 drops kind of deal. The card draw can also be hella fine. Aftershock, obviously still a pretty good spell, even at 5 mana, slash 3 mana, still good stuff. Burrow Buster for extra excavates. It's your second mech in the deck, as well as your second rusher. Uh, and this is important to remember, because uh, this is one of the mechs you could be summoning with Inventor Boom. Uh, just don't get baited into thinking you're gonna get 2 Burrow Busters from a single Boom without uh, having Bran active. After Bran, yes, you are gonna get 2 Burrow Busters, if that's the only thing you've killed, uh, but you're not gonna get four. Whereas if you've actually played Bran and played Zilliax, uh, that is gonna give you three Zilliaxes out of the Zilliax alone because it has Battle Cry summon a copy of this from the perfect module too. Uh, and basically Inventor Boom is gonna summon it twice, so it technically is uh, would only summon you three Zilliaxes if you played it after Bran, but technically it's gonna be summoning from six Zilliaxes pool, get it? A little bit confusing, I know, but if you think about it long enough, you're gonna get to this conclusion. Uh, so yeah, if you don't have Bran active and you play uh, Burrow Buster and your Zilliax with only two copies, uh, and after that you play Bran, then he will be summoning, he's still gonna be summoning a full board of mechs in that case, but yeah, get it, right? I, I think I'm explaining it well enough, probably not, but think about it and you'll figure it out, how many uh, mechs you're gonna be getting. Uh, anyway, we have Sanitizing here, pretty good removal cards, it's your second Forge card for Ignis and whatnot, and like I said, you could even straight up use it without forging it, if you have the zero mana, gain six armor in some cases. Bran, obvious no-brainer, as long as you're Highlander, you're gonna have a jolly good time with him. Just be careful not to start overdrawing, because a lot of your cards are gonna be doubled up, like uh, Cobalt Miner gives you two idiots, uh, Stoneskin Armorer draws you four cards, this thing draws you two cards, ETC gives you two, Ignis two, you get it right? Double battle cry, right? that's, that's kind of the whole point in it. Uh, Trial by Fire can be an excellent tempo tool, uh, you could even just straight up play it on curve and against some classes that might do well, but if you're expecting AOE out of the opponent, it's probably not a very bright idea. Badlands Brawler, if you manage to ex excavate twice, it's, ex it's insanely good. But you could also use it with only uh, not having the excavates uh, already done. Because in the end of the day, it's a perfectly good brawl with an extra minion on the board. So it can still get you out of some tight spots. Boom boss, usually uh, great after deep uh, minor brand. But in some cases, you just straight up throw it on the board for extra big man on the board. And also having only three bombs in the deck can still uh, snipe off some really important stuff. Like in the end of the day, it can remove up to nine things from a board hand and deck, so uh, on tempo against certain opponents it can be crazy enough to work. And Venture Boom, we already talked about him, he summons some pretty good stuff, and it, the minions he summons also remain on the board after they attack. If it's on an empty board it's obviously slapping a face, but it's a, if it's on a full board, uh, you're gonna be uh, getting a bunch of random attacks including face potentially and after that you're gonna get to attack a second time because all of the idiots you're summoning are rushers so uh, that can save you from pretty tight spots we have reno here obviously pretty good if you're highlander still if you're not highlander it can still have its uses like uh, let's say you've equipped a 10 mana uh, ignis weapon and the opponent uh, let's say uh, death knight with the quartz crusher keeps on freezing your mouth well maybe you can just equip the 10 mana weapon uh, get frozen and the turn after use reno to unfreeze your face and actually start slapping and that can be a uh, hell of fine but uh yeah usually you want to be playing it when you're highlander and lastly we have the zilliax like i said perfect module plus summon a copy pretty good stuff usually you win these games with the help of boom boss and uh, controlling the shit out of the opponent 
But uh, in general, against things like aggro demon hunters, you don't really care about neither your brand, neither your boom boss. You care about hard controlling. So uh, the boom boss game plan is for the slower matchups, uh, uh, where it's gonna come down to drawing all of these. But against faster matchups, you just want to control the shit out of them, gain tons of armor, get your Reno, get your Zilliax, that kind of deal. You really don't care about the boom boss. It's way too slow. Uh, so yeah, don't always try to win the same time against different opponents. Matchup wise, here's what the stats show. Like I said, excellent against aggro demon hunters, but plague decays and uh, wheel warlocks are gonna be absolutely brutal against you. Uh, we almost won against both of these uh, on the last stream, but it just fell short. Mechrog apparently can also be tricky. And the rest looks pretty decent. Mulligan wise, it's really gonna come down to the different opponents you're playing against, but here's the general stats when going first. Like, if you're expecting aggro, keep your removal. If you're expecting control, keep your brand, keep your excavates, that kind of deal. As for on the coin, the situation is probably not much different, but here you could even keep a little bit more expensive cards because you are gonna have the coin. All around, that's it for the deck. It's far from cheap, but uh, it is fun to play it, especially if you manage to find all them aggro demon hunters and show him who's boss. Boom boss, that is. Forget, forget I said that. You, you're not gonna show your boom boss to aggro demon hunters. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the guide. Hope it helps you uh, uh, play this deck better and play against it better. Now let's check out some of my games on my road to top legend with it. Hope you enjoy. Warrior versus warrior. Let's see how that goes. It's all about the brand thing here. Let's dig deep. There you go. Don't wrap me, yo. Turn five brand GG, come on. No rats. You here? No ratsies. Get more minions in this hand. Honestly, I'm gonna hold on to him before Brand sees play. Okay, he's gonna cycle a bunch. He's looking for the Bran or the Reen or the Rat. I think I'll just rip this as well. There's a minion. Love to see it. Okay, one more turn. And we get to do the thing. more turns technically this guy's going all all up in that tempo Ooh. etc the dirty rabbit i'm gonna etc to grab the gaslight honestly we have our tank he doesn't i think because he's drawn like mad gonna be looking for the boom boss afterwards Okay, Zilly slash five mana rusher. Yeah, let's coin that Branarino down. Hey, how's it going, Chosen? Welcome. Okay, so that was the rusher he got. Not silly. Vipers in this bitch. Uh, kind of want to sanitize this crap though, don't I? No, I'm gonna do this plus Viper. Sounds hot. I mean, with a hand like this, I'm probably just gonna grab the Ignis, huh? I don't know. Doesn't feel like it's worth it for me to spin a hand like that. Pretty premium crap here. Yeah, seems like it chosen. That's why I gave you guys the new top 5 inch. Not sure why he wasted that thing right there. 
I felt weird. I felt wrong. If I play this, I'm also going to have to drop the bash, maybe. Or maybe I pick a one mana web. Maybe a one mana web for card draw. I'm actually going to try. Bullshit. Okay. Sounds a boot, right? Warrior versus wheel. How do you win? Hard. Like, it's your worst matchup, probably. You basically try to get the boom boss nice and quick. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you there. Just rip the Reno as well. And we're not attacking because we're full. Fully fledged Reno game. Let's get Zilly up in this bitch. His Reno's already gone, so I can uh, get some uh, good stuff out of the what's his face. And again, we're not supposed to attack. Blade storm here into this thing. Okay, so you can play that game apparently. There's my boom boss, yeah. Looks good to me. There you go. Mm, I'd rather grab my uh, rush radiant. Okay, he figured it out. Very important to get your brand out. Nice and quick, guys. Very important. Muy importante. We actually burned his brand there, huh? Funny. Not a war, yeah. Is the game trying to tell me not to play it anymore? Okay, Bran's in the house again with the coin, should be hella fine. Kinda don't even want to play my call with Miner just so I can play around a potential Dirty Red, guys. Not even kidding. Right now it's 25% chance for him, for him to fuck me up, so I'm actually gonna straight up hold on to my Cobalt for after Bran gets played, like double battle cries and all that, but mainly because of the potential Dirty Red. I'll also do that right now. Get more minions up, up in this bitch. Another one. Honestly, at this point, I could stop 
overreacting about it, but this is what we want to get out of this anyway. Okay, like six minions in the hand. Good luck with the rats. Please don't. I'm gonna EPC Band Manager into a uh, Gaslight or this thing. This thing's also hot. The ATC was kind of cool because it was leaving another minion in there. And also I could actually get two minions out of the ETC after Brand, so I could double up. Dirty rat like that to potentially make a full clear. Okay, next turn I'm gonna have nine cards off the top. So if I play something that generates, I'll still be able to. Okay, that's a bummer. Could have been worse. I'll grab a couple idiots out of this, huh? <laughs> wow, it actually swapped them out. Keep me guessing kind of deal, huh? Um, let's keep on cycling. Shit. Don't be a damn shame if he has his boom boss. Don't be a damn shame if I pull it too. Oh, my boom boss. Let's see now. It's fine. That, not so much. Okay. Um. We start blasting. Let's get this thing out of the way. I'll just force this thing up, I think. Next turn we're gonna have zero mana safety joggles, so we can uh, sanitize for nine damage AoE. You gotta be fucking kidding me. The guy was in there and we missed him. Missed him with both the shots, as one does. Real lame, but it is what it is. Okay, I think I also have to play my guy here. We're not taking that much damage, so uh, should be fine. Let's turn playing this thing, doubling up my cycle. Would be a full hand too, because I'm going to play the Cobalt Miner first, and after that we're going to be drawing mine cards twice. Surely we're going to snipe the shit out of them. We are taking a decent chunk of damage here, sadly. Please don't. Oh god, please don't. Okay, acceptable. Fuck. What I could do is play both of these so we can get four cards instead of two. And still play this thing, but no, we also gotta clear this shit now, don't we? Then again, we're supposed to get a bunch of uh, bombs in the process, so this should clear up most of this crap. This is happening.
I'm ripping it, guys. Surely we're gonna find a shit ton of those bombs. Didn't find this thing, apparently, the zero. Okay, we're off to a good start. Reno got smorked. Don't forget, we're gonna get double battle cry here, so one more swap is happening. There you go. Kill the seven, por favor. I'm not feeling too hot. Seven. Fuck. We're screwed. We're screwed. Piece of shit. You're fucking kidding me? One off lethal for him. Uh, I really feel like that should have gone better for us. That's giving him two. He gets three mana damage on dead. If he doesn't, the four mana can give him something like rag. He's trading. Rag. Shit. He's not gonna have enough time to rush. Oh my goodness. Surely he did not have enough time. Oh my goodness. Thank you, kind sir. And now you kill it on a full board. Life steal, draw three cards, not good enough. Okay, this is fucked up. Wind Fury gain aid, you say. How much armor can we gain? Not even close. I can do five damage AoE. Five damage AoE. This thing can still go face. I have the brawler. What am I fucking talking about, man? I'm on drugs or something. Um, should I tradable first? Seven. Ignis weapon at the five mana wind fury could be a bummer, you know. We already burned his Ignis though. Surely we got this Falcon Elman. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Falcon oh, Elman. Sheesh. What a game, what a gamer. Big, big boom. Zilly, my favorite card. Zillium. Fashion. Energy. Fashion. Figure that out. God damn, what a game. Definitely would have lost if he was quicker. The turn where he discovered, like, we were giga dead there. Literally could have just rushed both of them down and Ragnaros, but he was Boomer APM right there. Paid actor kind of deal. Fucking hell, man. That was some serious business. Okay, back to the normal things. Bat it. Bangalass. Against these guys, I don't think we even hold on to Brand, guys. Not even kidding. Cobalt Miner is fine, Bladestorm can work out, but Bran cannot hold on to him. He's not armor, he's not removal. This is a lot better than Bran, I can tell you that much. Ain't nobody got time to Bran. Okay, Bash helps, Bash saves lives. This guy didn't keep anything, poor bastard. Who dares address me? Would have been, really would have been. Okay, that's gonna be good. 
Okay, we got the Healy boy. Either Rush, Rock, or Healing. I mean, they're all literally premium. Even the coins are amazing. Turn 4, Trial by Fire. Say less. Okay, weapons online real soon. Give it a rush. Give it the bash then. Should I actually just blade storm this? Next turn, he's equipping the weapon. I'm hero power and doing this. I'm gonna blade storm this. It's not amazingly amazing, but it gets the job done. Uh, we're not gonna get super great opportunities to get a good blade storm off, are we? Maybe I should have just bashed it though, but I don't know. I think it was alright. Yeah, okay. Let's do that then. Saves me a hero. Uh, saves me a free damage to the face. Blaze Strong would have come in handy here, huh? Okay, let's try and have this thing. Okay, that's a nice full clear. Still basically full health. Some big ass man. Right? Nope. Oh, look at that. That's gonna be hot. Um, the fuck do you want? I could actually dirty rat his one one. That'd be hella good. I forgot Reno's in the house. Elder Rat. Good damn shame if we pull Kane. That's not great, but it's fine. Okay, we can go nuts here. We have the arena to cover our asses. We're basically full health. Don't on the board, all of that good stuff. Surely we got this. I'm the perfect toy for you. Destroy Bob. Yeah, protect 
be a shit. Yeah. And this is where he concedes. Okay, that's mildly annoying, but nothing we can't handle anymore. Um, I mean, at this point, I can just play him out. Okay, got the perfect hero power too. Taboot. Still trying, guys. He still is a trying guy. Gonna force the bellowing here. Fuck up one of them at least. Also gives me a good. What's his face? Doesn't matter how we do it, honestly. This does not give me a fire spell, still gives me a spell, though. Of armor or a brawl if he really does, does something, but at this point, he cannot really build anything substantial. Best can call for a couple of metamorphoses and shit like that, but it's never coming home. Grab my son himself a tenor out of this too. Oh, brawler. I don't need that. Oh, not putting this one up. That's the best he could have gotten, honestly. It's fine. This is fine. Ain't gonna gain itself. I forgot we didn't play the brand. Uh, at this point, just playing this for <laughs> gets and shiggles. We're never dying from this health total, but who cares? Close, bro. Figure that out. Okay, more of those, Blizz. Don't stop hiding them. Stop protecting them from their emotional damage. <laughs> Just me. Against a rogue, a rogue of all people, you should be pretty fine here. 
Gotta be uh, prepared for some of that miracle action. I think I played against Potato. He is running the 8 8 Giants Clockwork Miracle action. So uh, this hand might actually work out wonders for us. Let's hold on to it. Gonna be playing the Needle Rock first. Get better odds of actually drawing. This is gonna force him to hero power. Spend his turn somehow differently to get rid of this. Hopefully, no bone spike and whatnot. And dirty rat, probably not a good idea. <coughs> okay, this is gonna help big time for my sanitized turn. Basically, all I gotta do is sanitize, forge, and we're prepared for his first bullshit full board of giants turn. For now, I can do this though. Wait, he's running Excavate? Fuck. Is he not the giant variant then? Shiny. Yeah, the giant variant is not supposed to be running the Excavate package. What is he then? Mystery. The plot thickens, guy. Oh my goodness. I don't need to do that though. If he doesn't advance too much here, I could next turn, but for now I don't need to. Could double coin out the trial by, I mean, single coin out the trial by fire next turn. Okay, some of that cut lasts. He did not advance. I guess I can just brand them. Some of that brand in action. Hey, Brandon. Some big weapon action, huh? Zilly is going to be very, very important to us. Can coin him on 8. Let's go ahead and clear this shit up. We stand together. Don't really have a great way of uh, doing these trades, so let's just do like this. I'll gain a little bit of safety goggle armor because, uh, I don't know, this guy's trying to clap me big time. I do have a viper somewhere in there. Can't put my finger on where. So, uh, Let the bad lands burn. It is a bummer, I'm afraid. This turn is going to be some shield block action, I'm, I'm assuming, unless we... I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Let the bad lands burn. Gotta keep the armor coming, basically. Because we're getting quite low.
Oh my goodness. Jesus, bro. Stop it. Get some help. Fuck. Yeah. Camera is nice. ETC gives me double armor vendor. Some armor, bro. We stand together. Adventure away. We stand together. Fuck. Oh my goodness, Huffer joins the chat. Three health off, Leoc makes it two. It's one off. Okay. Board of Zilliaxis gets me going. Jesus, man, what a game. Sheesh! Hate to break it to you, bro. I'm gonna break your neck. Fucking hell, man. For real, for real. Zilli is a bitch in it. Funnily enough, if he deals with the boar somehow, I'm still dead. As one does. Silly, silly. Oh my goodness. This is basically him asking the game, can he has a win? Can he has a win volume two? I don't think he has it anymore. Jesus, man, that was way too close. Imagine surviving at the fabled one health. Hilarious. Fucking hell, man. Still playing, too. It's one off lethal for me now. Uh, is there a lethal out in my deck? I don't think there is. Anyway, I'm just gonna gain an obscene amount of armor. Actually, there is lethal for me. Uh, can I use execute on my own, idiot? Enemy minion, that's dumb. Okay, guess we're grabbing that. Um, fuck, I had lethal. I had lethal, I had to use sanitize so this thing dies and this became one bigger. I can draw slam and deeds. But uh, yeah, we had lethal if I did what I said. Literally one off, but I had to sanitize after I've attacked with my small shits that would have done free damage AoE and made this into a 5-5. My bad. I really thought Execute can go on my own shit. Silly me. Imagine being flexible with your silly spells. What is this guy hoping for anymore, man? Like... Funny, I guess. I mean, technically I could still die, but not really. Especially once this guy comes in town. Silly zilly. Wait, what am I attacking? Oh, only a single idiot died there. That's lame. 
Because the other ones went into the box. Hilarious. Fucking hell, man. This game's still not over, huh? It ain't over till it's over, huh? Let's get this man in the mix. Next turn I'm gonna get the eight mana guy. All up on in his business. I'm kinda reckless on the last few turns. It really feels like a Game over kind of deal, but him getting double hard removal like that, that's kind of insane. I mean, he does did get a copy of it after all, but damn. I do have a Viper somewhere in there, I swear to God. Maybe I should just played the Gaslight a long time ago, but we are gonna draw the hand twice, so I don't know about that. Crap, dude. This guy is handpicking his discovers and rewards, isn't he? He's trying to get suspicious. This is actually trying to get real suspicious there. Don't know, fucking Viper. This is getting dangerously close, not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna have enough time to play the Viper, am I? Sadly, I got it in the first half. Am I gonna get it in the second? Okay, wow, that was a fast animation. What the hell? What the fuck's happening, game? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fuck you too, game! That was the dumbest shit in my life, fam! It gave me the fucking Viper up! Fuck you too, then! God damn, what were these animations? Lame as fucking shit now, wasn't it? Lame as fucking shit. Of course. Of fucking course. God damn these animations, bro. The Viper was literally glowing playable too, because it was gonna get drawn. Piece of hot garbage right there, this was so scammed, but I could have handled this game so much better. Jesus, that was nonsense. Absolute fucking dog shit right there. Of course, man. Today, the game is just shitting on me, bro. It's giving me all my bad matchups instead of the fucking aggro demon hunters, huh? Hell Arius game, Hell Arius. Very, very bad matchup, severely bad matchup. We'll give it the good old try, but don't expect too much out of it. Hmm. 
Oh, for sure, man. For sure. It looks like Sledge to me. Put a shit out of him with Ignis, can I? Look. Technically, I could execute plus bellowing. Problem is, he can fucking do it again, so maybe I chill. Let's get rid of one of them. I should kill this one because the other one's a demon. And the other one, he can revive back with endgame and whatnot. Fucking Doomkin. Fucking Doomkin. Why'd you hit me? The whispers. I can't resist. All right, lads. Well, good thing we held on to that brawl. Keeps on thinning out the deck. The wheel is inevitable, is it? Is that it? Big man. Just thinking about tapping. No wheel done. Fucking hell. Jesus, dude. It's disgusting. Where? Gonna slap this thing with the six mana trial. Nothing else really deals with it. That's about it. Mm, could have been easier, man. Could have been easier. The game decided to give me all my hard counters today, huh? Could have been a wee bit easier, I can tell you that much. No. This can give me the owl. This can give me execute. Blast charge that is. Hmm. Relax. Let's warm the 
Shield slap is something, but not... it is something. Isn't it one off? It's more than one off, it's one man off. So we have to do just a straight by though. Yeah, it fucking gave me the L. Of course, of course. You can still symphony me to death. Yeah, the canary would have been a cool play there, but it was highly unlikely. Three out of the seven kill me. No, two out of the seven kill me in this case. Three would have killed me if... Uh, I mean, not really. It's kind of fucked up. Okay, here's the removed only bad cards for me there. Still pretty screwed, though. Gotta gain a substantial amount of armor. That helps a little. I can burn his top deck. This plus hero power better than weapon? Gets me closer to things like Reno and whatnot. Sick burn, yo. Yeah. There's my Zilliax there. There's Branny boy. I have the boom bop. I think it's this plus bash trades. Let's show we boom bob if he allows us. Would have been nice if I had a Viper to tradable here. Did he get the six damage AoE too? Looking for it. If the zero two doesn't die, we get the draw all of that shit. But I don't get the hero power, so it's risky if he gets the six damage AoE. But it's a risk we're willing to take, aren't we? Torino is kind of hot, you know. I think I got a boom boss though, bro. Bomb me, dude. Can I get a T to the end to the T? 
Wheel gone. Can we get the six damage AoE gone? That was the plus six, wasn't it? Shit, he has the AoE. But actually, it's one off for him. It's one off lethal with the six damage AoE now. Did we do the impossible? It's one off, bro. It's one off, bro. Reno. G fuck. No, I'm dead to the fucking fatigue, bro. Fuck me, man. I'm dead to the fucking fatigue. Jesus. Space of garbage. Fucking hell, man. What a game. So freaking close. I just needed a spit of armor and we had this shit. A spit of armor is all I needed there. Piece of fucking dog filth. I don't know, man. I could have burned his 6 damage AoE, man. It wasn't so far fetched. Should have armored 10 turns ago. Silly me. Fucking dog shit, man. So close. Anyways, enough, enough, I have nonsense.